गुड मर्निंग सबा के टूडे आई एम गोईंग टू डिसकस अबाउट माल्टी लेवल लजिस्टिक रिग्रेशन तो फार्ष्ट अफ अल उव टू ओपेन द डाटा अलरेडी आई हाव प्रोभाइडेड द लिंक इन दिडियो डिस्क्रिपन प्लिज डाउनलोड द डाटा द नेम अब द डाटा इज माइ डाटा my data my data in this data there are many variable among this variable uh, name is primary sampling unit this is the cluster this is the cluster the number of cluster is 675 uh, but this is the example data Uh, simulated based on the DHS data. So now question: Which situation we use multi-level logistic regression? Generally, for two situation we can use this model. First is repeated measured data by longitudinal data, where uh, we can Kali data based on time one, time two, time three, monthly or weekly or daily, etc. Another method or another situation is cluster data. Generally, when we use two-stage or multi-stage cluster data, in this situation, we can use multi-level logistic regression. or mixed effect logistic regression for example there is a data if we consider uh, this is a id this is a cluster and this is the division for example then sorry browse browse this is the id that we individual that means one stage this is the cluster with a cluster we collected multiple data in the third stage a division within a division we collected multiple cluster so this is the superset this is the subset of this variable and this is the subset of this variable this is the individual so to adjust this cluster we can use multi level or mixed effect regression since i'm discussing logistic regression so we will uh, use but we will call it that multi level logistic regression if we use just logistic regression simple logistic for example outcome variable is stunting and exposure variable or inner variable is maternal underweight and we'll get the odds is 1.7 that means if maternal underweight if uh, if for the maternal underweight the having of stunting is 1.7 times more so but previously we have discussed that we have to code to when we he will zero when we will we one so please watch the previous video and if we would like to add just cluster then just cluster cluster a cluster variable this is the cluster adjusted <clears throat> but now we will at the, at this class i using multi level logistic regression so first of all we have to go to statistic about multi level mixed effect but remember please we use syntax instead of code we won't use any manual method logistic regression that first i um, use the manual but obviously we will use syntax so for example stunting exposure and 
be my cat is outcome variable. So in this scene is the category variable. So we can obviously we have two type one i dot, but since this value this value is zero one, so if we type i dot and we if don't type i dot, the result will be same. So obviously the category variable we should use i dot. So we have to type i dot. Okay. Then we see the random effect equation. Random effect even fixed effect and random coefficient and slope. So already we have discussed that the uh, this is our cluster variable. So if we press OK, then submit. Yes. This is the syntax. So to estimate the ORs, we have to T press OR. Then this is the ORs issue. Without multi-level, we got 1.7 or so, and after adjusting the cluster as multi-level, then we got 1.6. So uh, for multi-stage sampling, we should use multi-level, but remember please the cluster number uh, should be more. This is the class random intercept. If we type random coefficient, then obviously we have to adjust this variable in here. How? First of all, we'll show manually. Manually, so we have to type edit, just uh, we will edit the random effect function. Independent variable, independent variable, our independent variable is BMI cat. BMI cat, just BMI cat. And variance, variance, generally we use extensible or unstructured. So we'll use extensible. <coughs> Sorry, we have to type OR. So this is the random coefficient so in this situation if if uh, within the between the cluster between the cluster the odds issue will be sensed then we can use uh, random coefficient model so what is the meaning meaning for example there are 10 cluster for example, there are 10 cluster if we get uh, the odd ratio for each cluster and there is a variation, then we can use uh, random coefficient model. But theoretical, we won't discuss any theoretical part. We will discuss feedback later. Today we'll the only uh, practical part. So this is our syntax. So. This is called two stage because if there is, there is no multi-level, it is called one stage. If we use one cluster, it is called two stage. If we use uh, another cluster, for example, division. Division is another cluster. If we use division, then it is called three stage. Just type, just if we use another cluster, just we have to uh sorry just one minute please just we have to here we have to the another variable this is the super this is the sub
we don't need the Okay, if we press, we need more time. Sorry, just we have to type daughter. So if we copy it, if we copy it and a, oh, sorry, r dot meant. Yes, this is the three stress multi level logistic regression. So, <clears throat> if we use another variable, for example, for example, the outcome variable is maternal cat and exposure variable, the type of toilet. type of toilet and if we use the random effect then we have to just type <clears throat> random effect with another variable So if we adjust the other variable, then we have to type the other variable here, like the previous. The previous syntax. So this is the syntax. So we can use the syntax to run the multi-level logistic regression. Thank you very much.